everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. Now in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a bourbon. Um, I have not reviewed a bourbon for quite some time and I've been finding myself going through a bit of a bourbon craving lately so I figured why not let's go and um, go and throw some money at a, a bottle of bourbon so I did I went and picked up the Woodford Reserve double oaked um, so that's what I'm going to be reviewing for you today so let's pour a little bit and get this review going now before we get into this um, just general housekeeping um, if you haven't hit that um, bell notification and the subscription and the subscription button yet, um, go ahead and do so now. Um, you'll be helping me, I guess, support the um, the channel, and you'll also um, be able to stay up to date with all future content. Uh, so, moving back into the review. Uh, so, like I said, this is the Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. I have previously uh, reviewed the standard Woodford Reserve um, Bourbon. And that was uh, that was a really nice whiskey, and this one so far has been absolutely incredible. So um, this has been bottled at 43.2% um, ABV. I believe that they ha it has had like a double cask uh, maturation for it as well. Uh, but yeah, so I'll say let's get on with the review and let's see what we get. So starting off. I will say first of all let me say I've just had like the sun start to really shine through I mean just look at that color that is absolutely stunning it's like a deep amber copper um, this is almost verging on like Australian darkness <laughs> for whiskey that um, that that's a, say a real absolutely beautiful nice thick color right there so, on the nose, you can expect just, like I say, typical, I guess, bourbon characteristics. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether there's any um, rye in um, the mash bill for this. So, if you are, um, if any of you watching this are familiar with that, let me know. Um, drop a comment down below. Uh, but to me, this has... Uh, it's a little bit more characteristic of a of a, of a wheated um, bourbon, so something a little bit more similar to Maker's Mark. It's got a nice, gentle sweetness on the nose. Think things are along the lines of like caramelized. Uh, what have we got here? Just we have literally just had about a week solid worth of rain. Uh, and this is like the, within like the second day that um, I say we've had some sunshine and now I'm sitting outside and now I've just got stuff crawling all over me so <laughs> be careful, just don't mind if I get a little bit jumpy during this so all right moving along so yeah on the on the nose uh, like I said just imagine it like some nice caramelized um, like toffee and like burnt sugar notes You've got just a, a nice, um, uh, such a beautiful amount of barrel char influence coming through as well. It's such a nice oaky characteristic that's coming through. But that is, it's very well integrated, I guess, with that toffee and caramel. It's, there's nothing in this, on the nose so far at least, that is overpowering there's nothing that pulls you one way then pulls you another you've just got this nice uh, balance of aroma now the fruits are starting to come through so expect things like like cherry but this cherry note I'm getting kind of like a, a coca-cola cherry or dr. pepper cherry style of um, fragrance apples like stewed apples with uh, like cinnamon so imagine like a nice good old-fashioned apple pie filling mm, absolutely beautiful all right let's move on to the palette and see what we get so cheers it's 
it's such a beautiful mouthfeel. It's soft, it's light, but it's lingering. You've got that, the, you say the alcohol does that beautiful tingling dance that it does. It leaves like a nice thick syrupy texture. Uh, but at the same time, it's quite dry. It's I'm also getting ash, smoke, um, the oak influence is just absolutely beautiful. It's nice and soft and well-rounded. Then again, more of those stewed fruits. So imagine just like stewed apples and pears that are like wrapped in cinnamon. Every now and then like a light waft of smoke um, comes along. It's got that beautiful caramelized sweetness that just plays through as well. And then probably finally finishing off at the end of the palette with just a, a nice amount of like dark chocolate. It just has, I mean, it's got everything that you want in a good quality bourbon. Um, the finish comes along and again, it's just a nice caramel toffee sweetness nothing overpowering just yeah it's it's incredible it really is it is such a perfectly well-rounded bourbon i have to say again actually let's say let's keep going on with the finish there's more that's coming up so you will start to pick up a lot more of those um those cherry notes that are coming through in the finish which i have must point out uh, that's one thing that I'm really enjoying about this at the moment. I've never Cherry seems to be a very like common tasting note that a lot of people get from bourbons and I've never really been able to pick that up much myself, but that is definitely something that's coming through Really well on this particular whiskey and I'm glad that I've finally been able to to pick that note it could be as well that lately I have also been trying a few like different wines so maybe I'm also starting to I guess develop that um, that extra part of my palate for being able to pick up like different types of fruits and things like that so that's a that's a really good sign so that like I said at the start this is the Woodford Reserve double oaked uh, and this is hands down so much better than the um, the standard Woodford release and not to say that that's a, a bad whiskey at all it is absolutely beautiful but this just blows it out of the park I think this is definitely something that's going to be a staple on my shelf at all times um, I will definitely pick this over the standard um, over the standard Woodford and other I guess like mid-ranged um, bourbons um, it's it's absolutely incredible and I think the one thing the other thing that I've really enjoyed about this is that I think I finally found that perfect gateway whiskey for um, I guess for bourbon drinkers and scotch drinkers a lot of the times we get asked like if you're a scotch drinker what bourbon would you recommend or if you're a bourbon drinker what scotch would you recommend and I think for a scotch drinker going into bourbon this is definitely the one of those bourbons that you want to start off with i think it has a lot of similar characteristics that you get from a good bourbon cast finished scotch and i have to say this so far has been probably one of the, the best whiskies that i have found so far that kind of closes that gap between scotch and bourbon so if you are a big scotch drinker and you're wanting to start getting into bourbon i think look no further than this one the woodford reserve double oaked um, I, like i said it is just a perfect entry point for scotch drinkers into bourbon it is absolutely fantastic and then again having said that for bourbon drinkers that are wanting to get into scotch i guess maybe without diving into scotch so much um, familiarize yourself with the the flavors of this and I think you'll be able to pick up a lot of excellent um, like bourbon cast finish notes in a lot of um, a lot of scotches as well so I think this should be a crowd pleaser amongst the board all right I think I'm gonna leave it at that um, I don't really have anything else I need to say um, don't want to go rambling on too much but um, yeah as always Thank you for joining me on my reviews. It's always a pleasure having you here with me. 
Uh, my name is Andrew and I'll see you all again on the next video. Give this.